Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. I'm gonna do a plan with me for the week of September 7th through the 13th, which is crazy. I haven't waited anything out. Um, I need to. <laughs> and I'm going to use this kit from Lily Amico Designs. I don't actually know if this is still in her shop because I think the last time I saw it in her shop, it was maybe on clearance or something. I'm not entirely sure. Check her shop and her Etsy shop. Um, if you're interested in it, I'll leave them down below. And my code is also linked down below. And if you mention me, you get a foiled freebie. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, so this is the kit. It is super bright and colorful, but it has like those deeper jewel tones in it, which are really, really pretty. And then the black and the white. Um, these are like the colors and obviously like it doesn't really lend itself to deco. So she put these little like I don't know. I don't I don't know what to call those. <laughs> um, but here's functional stuff, all sorts of boxes and labels. And this is on her premium matte paper, which is my favorite. We have headers and little things, full heart checklists, date covers, washi strips, labels, boxes, and then these are also um, like washi strips or header sizes. Um, these are like header size as well, but you do get a full set of glitter headers. So, um, there's only like five of each of those. So, you know, but do what you want. Um, we have flags, square boxes, these like, um, rectangle half boxes and then labels, um, canceled rescheduled. Nope. And then you have these like two strips of bottom washi, these really large, like the icon itself is very, very bold. I actually really like those. Um, it's not like a big circle with a tiny icon. Sometimes those look really funny to me. And then a few like scripty icon things. This kit is not foiled. None of her kits are foiled, um, but it gives you a really good opportunity to pull in your own foil. Um, I have like a little freebie from Cross by Towie. And then I have this wiggle from Scribble Prince Co. I'm not sure what it was called, um, but I have the headers, some of the washi. I have these hearts from Giving Girl, and then this like icon sampler because I thought a lot of the colors matched. And then I pulled out these like orchid color icons from Nicole Alexia Design because I don't often get to use that color in my spreads, but I love that shade of pink. Um, I brought out hexagon arrows from Planting Roses. This is also part of the Scribble Prince Co. Wiggle. These like doily things from Pretty Pink Co. Um, these floral frames from Cross by Towie and then more hearts from The Giving Girl. So I pulled out, um, these are the two different sets of hearts that I pulled out. Um, so even though a lot of the colors are like the jewel tones, I pulled out some of the lighter colors from here. Although I think I would like to pull out more of the black. I tried to find this blue in my collection, but I could not really find anything. <laughs> um, but maybe I'll look at my blue foil. That is an idea, because I really love that blue in here, um, especially as we transition closer to fall. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, but let me show you my previous week. So this was my Mulan spread from Scribble Prince Co. And I think this kit is absolutely beautiful. I'm loving how it's turning out. I love this little section here. I love the girl with the, I cut a little check emails script um, throughout here. I ended up putting an icon over like a little layering piece on top of a box. I really enjoyed that. I love the little uh, floral corners that I put in. Um, I put a little deco around the movie marquee because it looked a little empty. And then I tried to space out the gold um, uh, boxes to try to like have a little bit of solid gold everywhere. And then I love that it goes with the, the really big, bold date numbers. Um, but yeah, so today's Sunday, I did sleep in, especially because I was super sick last night. I finally did a mani and pedi, which it's been like a month and a half, probably since I did a pedicure. And oh my God, my toes so needed it. Um, and I've just been rocking like 
plain nails for weeks because I just, I've been concerned about my leg. Um, and I didn't want to like be poking around my cuticles with tools and stuff if I had an infection in my leg. Like I just didn't want to introduce any other <laughs> issues to my body. Um, but it feels really good to have my nails done. I guess my nails match the spread pretty well. Um, yeah, I did a face mask last night. That felt amazing. Manny Petty, oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to a barbecue today. I can't believe it's Labor Day already. Like, I don't even know what this world is right now. So we will have a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to do any sort of foil overlay um, with this because... They're, they're pretty busy already. I could maybe put a quote like over this one or something um, or that one in the sidebar. I'm not really sure, but I think it's going to be super, super pretty. Um, and I'm going to get started. This is a TK Talks video because um, one of you, and I should have written it down, but I didn't because <laughs> I think I was at home on vacation or getting ready to go on vacation or something. I don't really remember. Um, but one of you recommended, I think when I was doing a Q and A, like, what if I asked you guys questions? And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that idea because I'm always trying to get to know you guys, but you don't all make videos. So it's kind of hard because you can't like necessarily respond to like, my video questions and it's not quite the same having you like verbalize or like type it I don't know but we're gonna try because obviously you're typing things um but we are going to do a new series on my channel and I'm very excited I'm trying to figure out if I want the bows or the confetti I think I might do the bow I'm going to do the black washi because, like I said, I want to bring in more black. Um, but did I just do bows or was that in a different planner? Oh, I did just do bows. Maybe I'll do the confetti then. Um, but I'm, I'm going to ask you guys a question. I will answer the question also, so it's fair. <laughs> um, but I'm going to ask you guys a question or two each time I do my plan with me in this planner. So I will link up here my other plan with me for the week because it's the exact same plans. Um, if you want to see like what's happening, like I can talk through my plans, but mostly I'll be talking about um, the questions. So I'll, I'll answer the question that I'm asking you guys because right? Like it's, it's only fair, like I said. Um, and then you guys can answer down below also. And if it's something that like, it's like advice or something like that, why is that so long? Maybe it's just cut wrong. I think this was one of my PR kits, so she might've still been messing with her format. I don't remember. Oh, so my glitter headers might not be the right size either. We shall see. Um, but if it's like for advice or something like that, hopefully you guys will interact with each other down below and we can form a little bit more of a community and get to know each other, get to know, um, like I can get to know you guys better because I want to. <laughs> um, ooh, that's really pretty. And yeah, so that's my goal, um, is to do that. And like I said, we're going to do this every week for as long as I can think of questions. <laughs> Some weeks are going to be easy. I think this week's going to be easy because we got to start out okay and then I think some weeks are going to be much deeper so you can participate obviously as you wish like if you don't want to participate you don't have to if you want to answer one of the questions and not the other um or like part of it you know obviously it's up to you what you share um in the in the comments because it is public but 
I think it'll be really fun. So thank you um, to whoever shared that idea with me. I'm, I apologize that I didn't go look up who asked me that before this video um, or who recommended that to me because I'm a slacker. I meant to, but I kind of, I don't know, I was slacking off this morning. But I have to go to a barbecue later today, so I was like, shoot, I need to get this filmed. Um... Oh my gosh, this is, it's really like lumpy right here. And I don't think I'm actually cutting. There we go. I probably cut through my paper now, but hopefully. <laughs> oh, yep, sure did. Hopefully it'll manage. I love that. That is so pretty. I love that it came in two strips and you didn't have to cut it yourself. <laughs> it would have been really pretty with these two strips also, but like I said, I just wanted to bring in the gold. So, um, I typically color block with her kits, but I don't think I'm going to, um, I might try like what I did last week where I like put the colors on a diagonal, um, but I will try not to screw it up this week. <laughs> um, but because every box has every color, I'm only going to separate black and white boxes. So that's all, that's all I'm concerned about. But I can also bring in this. So really I have like five colors. That might be really fun to do. I don't know if that'll be weird. Like maybe I should get rid of one of these colors and then just do four. Cause I definitely want the gold. I definitely want the turquoise because it's not as bold. Same with the purple. Or maybe I'll do a gold glitter above every full box and then I'll rotate the other colors out. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one. Actually, I'm going to start with this one up in the corner just in case I do find a full box overlay that I could maybe put over it. But otherwise it can just live up there, it's totally fine. And I did all at the top. I think I'll do the middle. Actually, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all over. Yeah. But then I have to remember how to do my headers. <laughs> oh, it's such a complicated process. It's okay, though. All right. What was I even talking about? Um, Y'all, my brain. One thousand percent cannot remember what I was talking about. I don't know, probably the questions that I was going to ask you guys. So, um, like I said, you can participate as you wish, of course. Um, so this week's question is, yeah, these are all a little, a little big. Don't hold it against her. Again, this was a PR, a PR kit. It was first coming back. Um... I want to know the story of your first kiss. Ooh la la. <laughs> and um, if you have any funny or crazy stories regarding kissing. <laughs> Um, so my first kiss, I was, I met this guy at a bar and I don't know, we started seeing each other. I was like home in Wisconsin or I was home from college and out with friends and I met this guy and he came over and talked to me and apparently he like never would go up and talk to girls. Um, and he came up and talked to me, but then eventually like my friends and I had to leave. So we exchanged numbers and we eventually went out on 
another date. Um, and I don't even know what we did. Oh, we went, um, we went to Oktoberfest. I think it was that date. No, it can't have been. No, I don't remember where we went on our first date. We probably went to like dinner or something, but, um, we were then out in Milwaukee and Milwaukee's on the shore of Lake Michigan. And we were out walking along Lake Michigan and the moon was out. I don't know if it was a full moon, but I remember it was like a really, really pretty moon. And we were like on the lakefront and looking at the moon and stuff. And it was super pretty. And I was like looking up at the moon and then all of a sudden he just like was kissing me, like leaned over and was kissing me. And it was really cute. He was really sweet. He ended up cheating on me though. So that's how we feel about that dude. <laughs> but it was a very cute first kiss story. Like it was, you know, it was a very cute moment. Um, and I had no, <laughs> no issues with my first kiss story or anything like that. <laughs> um, I thought it was adorable and yeah it was it was cute um however if you notice like we met at a bar I was old I was like 21 having my first kiss um yeah I wasn't about the dating life like I don't know <laughs> it just wasn't I don't know guys just weren't a big part of my life like they aren't any time in my life oh my god I love this whoo that gold beautiful okay so now I'm going to try to rotate rotate these other colors and I don't know how to do it so I think I just start with one and then do the second and then like the third and the fourth is that what I would do? I don't know. Let me just start with one. Especially because the top, I know where these ones go. The middle ones are a little harder because they don't go on a line. Oh, these headers fit perfectly. Sweet. So her, the boxes are a little big on this one, <laughs> but the headers fit perfectly. Okay. So, if I put that color there, and then this color here. I don't know why this is so hard for me, you guys, but it is. Like, it takes all the brain power. Okay, so let's come up with a scheme. We're going to go blue, whatever this is, purple, pink. So... Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> this looks funny to me because all of the teal is at the top except for here. But all of the purple is at the top except for here. I don't know. I feel like I need to switch it up more. Um, But I feel like I can also balance it by just putting like more teal stickers and purple stickers at the bottom and more raspberry and pink stickers at the top. So I don't know that I'm super concerned about it, but I'm a little concerned about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know. I try these things in my planner and then I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing ever. I never know what I'm doing. Okay. My date covers are a little big also. Um, okay, so that, so that was my first kiss. Um, my, any, what was my other question? Any funny kissing stories? Um, I 
think so. Hmm. <coughs> I feel like I can't think of any. If you guys remember when I dated Abe, he kissed me like as soon as we met, like while we were in the parking lot um, of our first date. Like we went to the mall and um, here's the date covers. Um, and he kissed me like as soon as I was out of my car, basically, like we were walking and I was like, holy moly. <laughs> it was so fast. I was like, what is even happening? Um, but it was cute. Like, I didn't mind because I was a lot older. Like, I could handle it. <clears throat> but I was just like, holy geez. Because I wasn't ready for it. I think I'm going to put... Because we don't really have, like, true deco, and I don't know that I'm going to use those, like, little, whatever those shaped things were. I might, but I'm not convinced. Um, and I'm going to just use these gold numbers again, because I love how bold they are. And I do have these in silver and rose gold also. I just, <laughs> I tend to use them in the gold. I don't know why. That's just what happens. Um... So I'm going to center them because there isn't a spot for the date cover. Like a lot of times her date covers have like a, a spot for the number, but these ones don't. So I'm just going to center them approximately above the day. I think that looks cute. Ooh, I like this. Okay, let's work on the sidebar. And I feel like I need some of this gold. Um, and I almost feel like I want to put one up here, even though I didn't really leave room. I think I want to layer it over the full box because it's just so striking, um, to have it there. And I do have a this week, uh, label. So I think I'm going to use that. So I think I'll put pink here. I'm going to try to pull all the colors in to the sidebar to help with the balance because then I can also pull some of like the teal down. And I don't know where. Okay, here's habit trackers. Interesting that on here, like the glitter looks quite a bit lighter than like this almost looks maroon. Um, hmm, interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out together. So I'm going to put this one first so it's not directly next to that color. Because I don't think they match perfectly. And I know that happens because I think you have to buy glitter, like, colors and patterns from different places than where you would get, like, kit art from. <laughs> I don't think it always comes with it. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of if I have any other funny kissing stories. So that first guy, John, um, I guess, like, on our date, we, uh, um, the date that I was like, oh, no, it couldn't have been that. Um, we went to Oktoberfest together, and we polka danced on one of our dates, which is hysterical. But then we also um, played mini golf. So it was like any time that somebody, you know, like lost or whatever, we owed each other kisses, which was cute. <laughs> um, something in there is crooked. Holy moly. Because these are like layered. Let's try that again. I don't know which thing is crooked. I'm I'm so bad at putting stickers down some days. Like, certain days it works just fine. And other days I'm like, what is even happening? And I don't know what else I'm going to put on my sidebar because I don't have another full box. <laughs> um, 
I mean, I could layer this, but like it's the same pattern as right here. I definitely need a half box for marking like what week of remote learning I'm on. So I guess I can do that. Um, probably not the hot pink. <laughs> uh, maybe the purple. I really like this deep. It's like almost blue purple. I really like it. And maybe I'll take this like raspberry color. Header. I don't know, we're making it up. Oh, I do have, I have the pieces that extend the washi, don't I? Not for this washi. Well then. Um, okay. So I could do that. I could put those little like deco things at the bottom. I don't know, we're making this up, you guys, because I'm not sure what to put here. Okay, so this is what the sidebar looks like. I think it turned out cute. I like the little like whatever these are here and then I can write we work remotely week two and then just a little bit around the sparkle. Yeah, that works for me. I also like that I put the gold up there. Holy moly. Oh, that's a seven. I thought that was a one. I was like, wow, that is really crooked. <laughs> oh man. Okay, the first thing I want to mark on Monday is that it is Labor Day, so there is no school. Um, not exactly sure what I want to use for that. Um, 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 where did my... I have like... Oh, here it is. Okay, so I pulled out... Okay, so I didn't pull out a no school. I just pulled out a Labor Day, so I might just use something easy like the heart or something do these really go I feel like that color is in here maybe I'd be better off layering it with something else I don't know I think that's cute okay yeah that color it goes it just it's not in every flower so I get a little confused all right so that is no school or Labor Day um and then I want to clean my kitchen and I also want to clean my makeup brushes but I just pulled out these clean stickers I think these were from giving girl if I'm not mistaken and I have icons but I don't know what icons I all have because I just grabbed this sheet so <laughs> not exactly sure what's on here yeah I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking for Let's see about a box because we have these gorgeous floral boxes and then I could find an icon. Oh, I bet I have icons in this pattern also that I didn't think about. So I could look for those. I kind of just like sporadically grabbed those. Um, that wiggle. I think I saw the bottom washi and I was like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> um, so I'll put clean here and then I can find an icon for that. And then I think I'm gonna take this little divider from Crafts by Towie and put that in here. Oh no, I ripped it. 
I was like, where'd the end of it go? It's still on my finger. Whoops. Okay. So yeah, so as I said, I want you guys to answer those questions down below. Sorry that I didn't have like a ton of stuff to talk about. That wasn't very exciting. But now I, uh, now you guys know my, my story. Okay. Um, I also want to do a workout on Monday. Oh, I did bring out a day off sticker. Okay, you guys, here's my big struggle. I don't know if I should be marking work Monday through Friday because that's like a giant chunk of my day. But I don't know. Like, I feel like I should be. Um, because otherwise, like, what am I going to mark all day long? <laughs> Because I work for eight hours minimum a day. And I mean, I didn't hear, but I wrote a lot of meetings. And those are going away because I'm going to be meeting with my students, but I'm not going to put meeting. Like, I literally meet with kids every day. So I feel like I should just put work scripts. Whoops. And I normally don't do that because, um, like, I work every day. But I don't know. I feel like I should maybe try it and see how I like it in here. I don't, I don't know. I'm confused as to what I should do. I'm also confused about these little hexagons because I want to use them. But like, I don't know how. Ooh. Okay. Cause I have these cute work scripts that are on white. So like if I layer it like this, like you'll still see it. Okay. Let me do that real quick for all of these days. And then I guess if I don't like it or it takes up too much room in my planner, like, and I end up wanting to mark other things, I can always not do it in the future. But I feel like, what the heck? <laughs> what am I going to put all day long? I mean, not that this takes up that much room, but I feel like I need to mark it. What did I do before I worked from home? Why am I so confused by this? <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe that's why I, like, have struggled to put things in my planner because I needed to be marking work all this time. But, like, Kiara always marks work, and I'm always like, I don't feel like I need to mark work because I work the same hours, like, all the time. And now it's, like, even easier because I don't have to, like, not that I was commuting anymore, but, you know, like, I don't even have to drive to work anymore. So that saves me like an hour a day. Did I just put one on Monday? I bet I did. Sure did. 
just after I put a day off sticker. You guys, you gotta keep on me. I'm such a ding dong. Okay. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get this one back on here. They're so delicate. Okay, let me open up again and show you where I've got stickers like literally everywhere. This is so fun though. The jewel tones are perfect um, for transitioning into fall, but the hot pink and that like bright turquoise keep it like lively <laughs> and that really sparkly gold um, along with like the orchid pink that I brought in. I think it's really, really fun. Um, so it's Labor Day, clean kitchen on Monday, hopefully getting in a workout, laundry Tuesday, um, some medical like calling and submitting some information to my doctor plan. I need film edit upload. I just need to grab those. You guys see those all the time. Um, treat yourself because the content planner comes out this day and I think I'm going to buy it. Cleaning my floors. This is Patriot Day. My glam planner bill due and then grandparents day on Sunday and a friend's birthday on Saturday. Work remotely, vitamin skincare, and my YouTube schedule. So that is my spread from Lily and Miko. If you want to know where anything is from, because obviously I didn't talk about all of the stickers, just ask down below and I will figure it out. Um, but that is, that's where we're at right now. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, if you're shopping with Lily and Miko, there is a code down below. And if she's having a sale, you can always mention me for my foiled freebie, which... I have around here somewhere, but y'all, I don't know where I put it. It's probably in my rose gold binder, which I don't have out because I'm using gold. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to answer the questions down below. So um, what was your first kiss like and do you have any funny kissing stories? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like this idea of TK Talks and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Hope you subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Bye.